good morning everyone this is Tony from her homestead skills and yes I just got back from the garden actually about an hour ago and <laughs> resting up from that um, encounter as usual I tend to get a little bit physical there but it's coming along uh, cleaning everything up things are doing well so far so good uh, we'll be planting hopefully the rest of my garden this week but today I've decided to do something that so many of you have already done and it probably is the first time I've ever attempted and that is to make the cuppa 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 recipe fruit cobbler uh, sounds pretty easy to me so I have a whole bunch of canned peaches that I probably should use up so I'm going to use my preserved peaches myself and I'm going to get the rest of the ingredients together which is a cup of flour, a cup of milk, a cup of sugar and of course the peaches. Now I could just use the liquid from the peaches and omit the milk but I'm going to drain the peaches and use milk because I have lots of milk in the house. Okay I've got my sugar, I've got my flour and I also have to use half a stick of butter in an 8 by 8 pan. So I think that is about half a stick. We're going to melt that at the bottom. It's pretty soft, but I still want it to melt. Mind you, I could probably just leave it like that, but I won't. Okay. Now I keep my flour and my sugar in these one gallon containers for when I'm doing lots of baking and of course a one cup measuring uh, thing does not fit so I have to use two one half cups to get the measurements I want. So that's one cup of flour. One cup of sugar, and one cup of milk. Now, if you're using all purpose flour, you do need to add some um, baking powder, um, otherwise, just use self rising flour. Pretty easy. Just mix everything up. Okay, looks like that batter's mixed up very well. Okay, at this point, I want to take my canned peaches and I'm going to drain them. And because these peaches are uh, quartered, I've decided I'm going to cut them up into smaller chunks as they're draining. So you don't have to do this, but uh, my preference is to do this. Now you can also use fruit cocktail, you can use pie filling, you can use all kinds of things to make this cobbler. Just want to cut these into smaller chunks. And my butter I have placed in the oven while the oven is warming up just to be able to get it all to melt so it should be melted by now. So I'm going to pull it out of the oven. Yes, it's perfect. Okay, so I've got half a stick of butter melted here. Just going to pour the batter in. Okay. 
and the idea is just to top this off with the peaches or whatever fruit you're using. I'm just going to slightly move them around. Okay, that's it. Now this goes as soon as the oven is warm, it's preheated. I will bake this at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. So, should be ready then. Okay, the oven is warm. Going in for 40 minutes at 400 degrees. I'm going to set the timer for 40 minutes. Okay, well I double checked and the recipe says 35 to 40 minutes. It has been 35 minutes and this is golden brown so I am taking it out of the oven. And yes, other than the time, it says it should be golden brown and bubbly. So, looks awesome to me. There we go. Nice and golden brown and bubbly. Now, I'd love to have a taste of it immediately, but I am going to wait till this cools down just a bit before I cut it and have a taste. But it looks wonderful. It's a very easy recipe to make. Oh yes. And because of all that butter, nothing is sticking. <laughs> this, you know what, I don't think I am going to wait. So, I don't have any ice cream or whipped cream and you probably want either one. Not the sharpest knife, is it? Okay, this one's better. Marginally. Okay. First one is always the hard one to take out. Oh yeah, that looks great. Turn the oven off. Ooh, I definitely have to wait for that to cool. <laughs> but it is delicious. Mm -mm. Well, that's dessert for tonight. Okay, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and yes, I have tried a bite, and it is absolutely awesome. This is a wonderful way to use up some of your home canned fruit preserves. I may try cherries next because I have jars of cherries that I uh, put up. And uh, definitely worthwhile, very easy to make. I'm going to go and enjoy my slice here before, <laughs> before dinner. And I uh, hope you'll try this recipe. It's actually really, really easy. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.